Hello everyone, it's Tedious here, back with another video on the Fortnite storyline. Now I know I said for the new year I wouldn't be posting or whatever, but it turns out there's some pretty big news. Now the first thing is the Cube Queen's return. She's been spotted by Ali A and a bunch of other theorists and stuff. Um, here's a photo of it. I completely agree. We don't need to make a full video on that. If you want to watch a theory on that, you can, but I'm not going to go over that because that's not what this video is about. This video is about Chapter 3, Season 2, and a massive leak for it. Now, shout out to Skeleton Goalie here. I think that's how they pronounce the name, or Ghoulie, or whatever. I don't know. I was going to go with Goalie. He um, made a video saying, this is the leak. This is, you know, something that Tedious could possibly cover, and I'm going to cover it now, so thank you for that. Um, you gave me an opportunity for some content, which I was kind of needing right now, but that is completely okay because the Fortnite story was usually dead, but it's up and running again with some leaks by Fitzy Leaks, so credit to them. Um, I originally thought this was fake, but, you know, someone wouldn't leak something this big as a new season theme or, like... I don't know, a new animal, you know, they wouldn't leak something this big if they weren't sure on how true it was, because if it ends up being a complete lie, then they're going to get, you know, hated on, cancelled, whatever, you know, Twitter, Twitter will, you know, kill them. So, that is okay, though, because we do not have Twitter for a very good reason, but, you know, viewing these leaks through Skeleton Golly's videos, if you want to figure out what's going on with Fortnite, and, you know, not all to do with lore, just in the general news and updates, go subscribe to his channel, um, that will be linked in the description description of this video. Anyways, let's get into the whole logistics of this whole situation with the reality war of Chapter 3 Season 2. As you can see in the loading screen kind of title page, you can see four logos. You can see the Sevens logo, you can see Ghost, you can see IO and also Shadow. You can also see that this is an orangey theme which we've last seen it, at the end of um, Chapter 2 Season 5 where there was a massive war with a bunch of people from different realities and they were all similar versions of the same person. Remember in Season 5 how we had the return of Tiantina, you know, we had a bunch of different versions of the same people. We also had Jonesy and the different Joneses and also how the Looper was turning into different people. There was a bunch of versions of the same person that were involved in a bunch, in, in one big plan to destroy reality with the Seven and whatever, but you know, that ended up being fixed by Jones and the Foundation, and you will see what I mean and how that links in later with this video. So there's a very subtle teaser, but a very meaningful one. Now let's go into the next thing with how the story of this will tie into the future of Fortnite. So we know so far about the story of like, this season, um, the IOR are currently drilling over to our island and they're going to be fighting with the Seven. Now the Seven are trying to leave the island to gain wartime essentials to protect the island from these earthquakes, but the earthquakes are actually caused by drilling beneath the island and monsters beneath the island such as Buttercake which we see here in the close up of Boba Fett's picture. Now. That is not really that important. The whole point is the IO are going to be coming to the island and they're going to be fighting with the Seven. And, you know, you've seen the Seven's logo in this and the IO's logo, but you also see Ghost and Shadow. Now, Ghost and Shadow were pretty out there and not very involved with this whole war thing. I mean, they've never been involved with the Seven or the IO much at all. But how would they be involved? Like, sabotaging a war or something? Exactly. Midas will likely introduce Shadow and Ghost into the war as, like, third parties. He did this in Chapter 2, Season 2. Remember when there was Alter and Ego? He took over both of the civilizations and he made them fight in, like, a different, a separate war, like a third party war that wasn't even real just to distract someone from something. I mean, who? Distract the IO from his plan. Now, what plan was it and what plan would he be doing now? Well, his last plan was the Doomsday Device, which failed, and he really wants revenge against the Storm and the IO, because, you know, they stopped him from destroying the Storm and the Loop and freeing everyone, and he lost to a friggin' sentient being of purple light. Like, that is very sad. I mean, over the course of when he's lost to the Storm, he's always wanted revenge. We've seen this Icebound Midas for Frosted Revenge, we've seen Midas Rex, we've seen some Midsummer Midas relaxing from revenge, and we've also seen Shadow Midas to seek vengeance and, of course, again, revenge. All of these snapshots of him that have come back have come into the loop for one reason and one reason only, revenge against the Storm and the Imagined Order. Now, we know this because it says it in practically all of his descriptions. And you know, these versions of him could possibly be from other realities, or they could be snapshots. Now, let me explain why I don't think they're snapshots. 
Shadow Midas, the cube was never really involved with Chapter 2 Season 3, meaning Shadow Midas would have had to come otherworldly to be corrupted by that all. He would have to leave, create another snapshot, which wouldn't really make much sense. I think Shadow Midas is an otherworldly Midas. Then you also have Icebound, who very out of nowhere was sort of just here. I mean, we still have the other Midas, the restaurant. It doesn't really make much sense. I'm pretty sure there are other reality versions of him. Now, let me explain this. I said earlier that the colour and the teasers in the title, sorry, is like, you know, it's teasing to an older time where a bunch of versions of the same person came together for a plan. Now, if all of Midas's, like, sort of snapshots things, and they came together, right, and they were trying to build up some plan, wouldn't that make a lot of sense with what we were just talking about? Some reality war, some plan that he's trying to distract them from. I mean, I think it's kind of like they're planning some plot for revenge against, you know, possibly the IO, possibly the Storm, possibly both. Maybe that's how the loop's going to break. Maybe he's going to help the Seven. We really don't know. I mean, there are probably other versions of him from different realities since this is called reality war. Now, the reality war is most likely just the IO, they drill to the island when the Seven leave, because, you know, then the Seven won't know, then the Seven come back, and then they fight, and then Midas third parties the whole thing. So, what I'm guessing is this is kind of like another Midas plan situation. I mean, it's very interesting, it ties into the chapter loop theory that, you know, the seasons are mirroring each other, saying that chapter 2 season 4 and chapter 1 season 4 are the same, chapter 1 season 2 and chapter 2 season 2 are the same, and it seems to be continuing because... Chapter 2 Season 2 had the war with Shadow and Ghost, and now it's going to happen in Season 2 of Chapter 3 as well. I mean, this is crazy. That's, I mean, thank you, Skeleton, Goalie, or Ghoulie, or whatever, for shouting me out in the video. I really appreciate it. Hope you, you know, enjoyed this video. Every one of his viewers that came over here to get the lore breakdown on this whole thing, I appreciate your time here. And go to Skeleton's channel. I'm just going to say Skeleton, because I don't know how to pronounce the last bit. Um, yeah, go over his channel, drop a sub. He's had a recent growth but on YouTube, which is really awesome. He's been a viewer of mine for a while. Uh, thank you for this kind of suggestion that sparked a cool video idea. I'm Tedious. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome new year. Merry Christmas for belated, belated Christmas because I'm late. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit like button, subscribe button, and post notifications so you never miss another Fortnite storyline video like this or other storyline on other media. I'm Tedious. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day wherever you are and peace.